it's been really very moving and gratifying to see what's happened over the years since 1995 because it's just been a huge um, transformation in treatment and in patient outcomes and um, you know I think back to some of those kind of early years and can see the difference in, in what all the uh, technology and medical research has, has meant for patient care and for the patients. M one of the primary um, kind of improvements, if you want to look at it that way, has been in the uh, area of medications and antiretroviral therapy. Um, initially, I, I distinctly remember patients who were diagnosed and promptly put on one medication, and that was AZT. That had to be taken five times a day at particular times every day, and people carrying around alarms and beepers so they would remember their medicines at the right time. But it's really evolved to medications that have much less side effects and um, even ones that are um, two or even three or four pills in one tablet so that what used to be you know five or more doses in a day is now one pill once a day. And while there certainly are side effects and other things to be considered, just the whole pill burden issue has definitely become a lot easier over the years. I have, uh, I have a lot of patients who inspire me each and every time they come, just with what they've come through, what they're up against, and sometimes the very amazingly good uh, and productive attitudes that they do it with. Um, I have a female patient who has come through not only being diagnosed with HIV, but very successfully um, resolving a substance abuse issue and she's going back to school and become really productive and is in good control of her HIV and she's really, um, she's very grateful for what she's come through and, and how she's been able to, to do that and uh, she's definitely an inspiration to me. I think that the, the challenge with patients really is getting them to, um, getting people to stay around long enough to connect. Um, I think once people make that connection, um, they feel better about coming in and staying in care and um, kind of keeping people coming is one of the bigger challenges. It's frustrating to um, see someone and know what you can do for them and they just choose not, not to be in care. Well, I think in a couple of words, what I would mainly say is to persevere. That there are difficult times. Um, all the patients that I can think of have come through at some point in time some really difficult times. Um, whether it had to do with their HIV or, or other things in their life. Um, and to, to not give up, to not let other things kind of throw you, to stay in care, to um, keep in touch with your provider, even if you think you do not want to be involved with medications, but to just, um, you know, stay connected, you know.